Hello beer tubers and welcome to yet another beer review with me Peter the master of how it's been another festive themed one at that. Yeah, we're still carrying on with the, a little Christmas theme because it's almost Christmas. It's the 20th of December today. So, uh, carrying on with more Christmas beer and I thought we should show Sweden some love this time around because Sweden's been putting out some amazing beer and Sweden has been showing a lot of love for the Master of Hoppets beer reviews. Actually, Sweden, you guys, you're the t second most subscribed country now to this channel, which is insane. You topped, you, like, number one is still in the United States, but Sweden is number two now. And Denmark is in, like, third or fourth? No, fourth. It's, it's funny, the Great, Great Britain is, like, third, and then Denmark. <laughs> it's kind of funny, uh, since I'm based here, and I actually reviewed a decent amount of Denmark beer. But thanks for the love, Sweden. All you Swedes out there who watch, you rule. Of course, all of you guys rule, but this one's a bit for the Swedes, so... Uh, yeah, it's a Swedish beer, guys, and this is a beer by Dugges. Um, I'm not sure if this is the, like, last year's batch or something, because I know Dugges changed artwork and bottle design and everything, because this looks like the old artwork. But this is the Dugges Christmas Idiot. It's their Imperial Stout Idiot. I think I've reviewed the Half Idiot or something. I've reviewed one of them way back in the day. One of the first beer mails that Johan ever sent. Um, but... This is a 9.5 Imperial Stout. It's a different tweak on Egypt, and I think that the only tweak on it really is that it's made with uh, Gnuta, whatever that is, smoked malt. So it's made with smoked malt, and uh, yeah, it's got uh, barley malt, hops, yeast, sugar, and water. So I think it's the first time I've seen water on the label too, but it's yeah, from Dugas. And uh, yeah, they do some good stuff at Dugas. They also do actually quite a decent amount of the um, Omnipolo beers. But you know what? I'm just gonna be back in a sec because I want to find out what that is. Okay, couldn't find out what that was. All the references I got was to some kind of children's book. I don't hope the malt is smoked over children's books. That'd be kind of fucked up. But um, yeah, should be an interesting imperial stout. So I got it poured, guys. And it's pretty black in color. Uh, it's got a bit of yellow, or yellow, red. I don't know why I said yellow, red bleeding through the glass, kind of dark brown notes. And the head that was there was kind of tan or beige, but yeah, it looks nice in the glass. So let's check out the aroma on the Dugas Christmas Idiot. Oh yeah, it's got that edge of smoked malt. It's not very festive really, but I like it. I love smoke in uh, my Imperial Salts and whatnot. Smoky, licorice roasty, toasty. It's got a decent amount of esters too, like dark fruits, like raisins and wine gums. Mm, yeah, toasty, maybe some toasted nut, a slight burnt note. I wonder if actually I could find out, on, oh, I don't have the cap right now. Maybe that would say like anything about a date, but it smells pretty nice. It smells like a nice kind of more traditional imperial stock, kind of like in the British style. Or yeah, just like British imperial, Russian imperial stock or whatever, just with a touch of smoked malt. But it smells really nice. And also I have to give a big shout out to bestofbeers.dk for this bad boy. Uh, they were kind enough to... Uh, link this for a review, so check them out guys. Link for their webshop is down below. It's a great Danish webshop that has a lot of beer from pretty much all over the globe. And they just got uh, Yellow Billy on there right now, which was kind of nice. And they have a huge selection of Christmas beer this year, but it smells really nice. So let's give it a taste. Cheers guys, and thanks to Best of Beers for the beer. Yeah, that is Really nice, like straight up Imperial Stout and just more classic, like, yeah, as I said, British. Ooh, really nice coffee, roasty aftertaste. It's got a hint of smoke. The smoke is actually not that dominant on the flavor. Maybe a bit on the aftertaste. And then it's got a, kind of that, that charry, ashy thing going with it as well. Medium mouthfeel, a little bit silky, but not super thick. But great carbonation. The wine gum, the kind of dark fruit thing is there. Nice coffee nuance to it, actually, really. A bit of brown sugar, too. And this is a pretty nice Imperial Stout. It's not like crazy mind blowing. It's just a very well made Imperial Stout with some nice flavors. I don't think it's really festive per se, but it's nice. I mean, dark beers are usually also associated with winter. So, an Imperial Stout, winter times, Christmas times, works out, doesn't it? Yeah, but yeah, tasty stuff. Maybe just the slightest hint of alcohol to it. Oh, and licorice, too. But yeah, nice stuff. Uh, Pretty nice Swedish Christmas beer. I think it's the first time I actually feature Swedish Xmas or Christmas beer on the channel. So, hey, that's the first for everything. So, uh, tasty stuff. So, if you guys want to check out the 
do you get to Christmas Eve and you can't get it, you can get it in Best of Beers. Rating wise, I'm like a straight up 90. It's a really nice Imperial Stout. It's not mind blowing or anything, but just there's just nothing wrong with it. The only like beef I have with it really is like the big mouthfeel and the bit of heat, uh, the big, the like thin kind of mouthfeel and the bit of heat on it. But other than that, it's a pretty nice drinkable Imperial Stout. So cheers to Sweden. And uh, cheers to you guys watching, of course, as well. And let me know what you think of the Ducas Christmas Idiot, if you've had a chance to try it. And again, check out Best of Beers. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I want to say cheers. See you guys in another beer review.